What is going on guys? Thanks for stopping back here to the channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and get down there and smash that subscribe button. Today we are going to be working on my truck a little and getting her serviced up for the most part for my summer ahead and all that we're going to be doing. So that's nice. And you know what? I might take that off while I'm at it. That bug shield, it's rubbing on my grill. That's a no-go. That's going to come off every day, too. I'm just gutting this truck fully. You guys haven't seen it, but there's some other stuff missing on this truck that you'll see in a, a later video that I'm redoing and refixing. And well, that for the summer as well. So you guys will see that in a later video, too. But um, I'd say that's going to come off for today because I didn't realize it, but it is definitely rubbing on my grill. That's coming off. But um, I did go and install the cat fuel filters on this thing um, about a little over a year ago probably. And I've only put about 6,000 miles on it since then. But I'm going to change the oil too. I'm not going to do that today because I realized the tool that I need for the oil filter that I was going to show you guys another video of, I left at work. So I can't do that today. But I'm going to go ahead and change my cat fuel filters on this thing that you guys see me install. If you guys did not see that, I got the fuel filter and the water separator in the back, um, the kits from Black Market Performance, and I installed those, and I will put a link to those um, above so you guys can watch that video if you want. And then I got a new air filter, and one day I'll probably upgrade this, but for now I'm going to go and just put a um, aftermarket one in it and I seen one and I read it and it had pretty good reviews on Amazon and it cost a little more so I went ahead and got that so we're going to be installing all of that today guys so yeah yeah and you know what those take a clip tool that is also at work so that might be in the next video when I show you guys the tool that I use to change my oil and my ram but let's go ahead and jump into getting the air filter swapped out and then we're probably gonna go ahead and jump into the fuel filters and i'll give you guys a comparison on that and why i switched to that when i get to that point so let's jump into it guys okay guys this is actually a fuel filter off of amazon I went and got it, um, let me look what brand it is. I got on the information on it. Diesel power source and it comes with a warranty and everything else. This is like a heavy duty filter. This is rubber, all the black is rubber. It's got like double ventilation it's gotta go through and everything. The only thing that complaint I seen on the Amazon review is, is there's just a little bit of slop in it in the tray and I'll find that out here in a minute. It was about $70 on Amazon. I'll put a link to this in the description below. And then the sale is also supposed to help your sound and being able to, for better airflow and all that stuff as well. And then if you guys are wondering, I do have my silencer right down there. So it does sound good, especially when I'm pulling my camper. Terribly just a whistling going up some of these hills and it sounds awesome. But we're gonna get this installed and see how she works. Is anyone else on, that's really dirty. Is anyone else on the same page as me? They change all their fluids regularly on their vehicles, but for some reason they always forget about their air filters. I know that this year I went and I had thought about it and I have been forgetting my air filters on pretty much so all of my vehicles. So I went and I've been changing every air filter on every one of my vehicles this year just because I've been forgetful about them every day. So they're all getting changed this year, including this one, because look at that. I had not thought of that and it is definitely dirty and needs changed.
snug because this lip here was a little thicker on top. So whenever I went to install it, the, the pins on the back didn't want to slide in. So what I did was I pulled the filter out just a little bit where it was like laying on this lip right here, put those in, shoved the filter back in and then put the cap down. There was a little bit of a gap here when I sucked it in, the screw sucked it all down. And she is in there guys. It was a little bit of a, yeah, just because of that, it was kind of wanting to like not sit in there hundred percent, but she is in there now. So now let's jump on to getting the fuel filters changed. You guys can see it way down there. And down there is my cat fuel filter guys with my black market performance holder. So let's go ahead and get her screwed off there. Probably gonna make a little bit of a mess and then get the new one back installed. Okay guys, I can say that filters are a lot cheaper, but you're gonna make a little bit more of a mess because with the old filters, the cap screwed off the top and then you just pulled the filter out, maybe a little leaked over, you put the new one back in. And with this one, it leaked a good little bit and then it leaked. On the ground a good little bit. So you do make a little bit more of a mess. These are your filters, here are your part numbers. I also went and bought these off of Black Market Performance, the same place I got the kit from, it's just simpler to buy them. Um, I think I paid $52 for both of these. I think they're $24 a piece and then after tax. So you've got about 50, just say 50 bucks in these versus your factory filters, which I'll put up uh, a picture of what they cost. And the pricing is totally different. So my thing with fuel filters is change them every time you change your oil. It's just a simple way to do it. Um, you might be changing them a little more often than it's needed, but I change my oil a little more often than when it's needed as well. So change your fuel filters when you change your oil, oil and all that stuff. And then just think. So if you change it a little more often and um, you're going to pay for kit which is about 400 some dollars when I got it you're gonna pay for itself just think you're saving roughly $70 every time you change with these so it'll pay for itself so roughly five times of changing your fuel filters will go and already have your money back out of this and if you're gonna keep your truck for ever and put a ton of miles on it or whatever um, they will gladly pay for themselves and just say I change my oil about every five six thousand miles So just think you change it every five six thousand miles and that's um, That's 25 thirty thousand miles in your truck and they've already paid for themselves if you got a brand new truck So they are well worth the money. Um, the kit was not hard to install like I said I, I, it's, I'll put it in the description below if you guys would like to see that video as well and at the end in the end screen if you guys would like to see that. But we'll go ahead and get this installed and then crawl underneath the back of the truck and get the rear one installed guys.
Okay guys, I went and drained, got all the air out of the fuel system. And considering I don't want to put fuel right into the fuel filter, I want to make sure it's filtered through um, correctly and make sure I don't get anything where I shouldn't. I don't put none in my fuel filters when I fill, when I install them. But considering I do that, this thing starts up awesomely. I know on my old second gen that I used to have, I only had one up here and it took forever to get it to start. With this thing, um, I normally average 10 t key turns to get it to start. Um, I did five this time and tried to start it and it didn't start. So then I did five more and then it fired right up and didn't even die out once. So just cycle your key 10 times, wait for the fuel pump shut off, turn it back off, turn it back on 10 times and then she fires right up guys. Um, she is a little dirty under here. I'm gonna get her all detailed up. I figured get her good to go for um, the summer and camping season, get all my fluids topped off. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I'll probably do my oil just one evening. I checked all my fluids, minus my transmission fluid. I'll check out here in just a second. But I checked all my fluids, all my fluids are good. I just need to change my oil, which I have everything to do it with. I just don't have the right tool for my oil filter. And I will show you guys that in that video as well. But I always did the, the Rattel T4. Well, I'm going full synthetic on this one. Rattel T6, uh, 1540, and we'll put, got her all ready to go in there. Got my Mopar filter. So I've got everything to do it with, guys. Also, I bought me one of these because it's like an oil pan just gets filled up with 12 quarts of oil out of this thing. So I got this at Walmart and it holds 16 quarts. I'm like, this is gonna be handy and you can just drain her over here. So I thought that would be handy to use as well. You guys will see all that in that video coming up. As long, along with the truck being naked, I'm gonna take this off in that video. I just, it sucks your home and then all your tools that you need are at work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and get on there and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, everyone.